the story you first saw here on CBS2. Sitting down exclusively with the CBS2 investigator, Dana Kozlov, two brothers from Chicago coming forward with a painful secret they say they've been hiding for decades, revealing years of sexual abuse, they say, at the hands of Father Michael Flager. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey joining us now live. Megan picking up the story. The fallout over these allegations continues tonight, Megan. Right, Brad, on one side, Flager's accusers are asking for a personal response to these allegations. On the other side, Flager's supporters are trying to poke holes in the credibility of these claims. It's hard for you to think of me as this dark personality. Mm -hmm. Breaking their silence for the first time for CBS2 investigator Dana Kozlov. I couldn't forgive myself because I blamed myself all these years. The two brothers described in painful, sometimes graphic detail, their encounters with their former choir director, Michael Flager, who they say molested them dozens of times beginning in the early 1970s. Both said it started around the time they were 12 or 13, and both said Flager's prominent standing in his community. We want peace. Kept them from speaking out until now. That's what kept me from coming forward for so many years and never telling anyone. Girl, stop it right now. A decades-long champion of Chicago's African-American community. His character and reputation has never been questioned. His supporters fought back today. Sick enough to try and damage a faithful man's reputation for $20,000. They pointed to the December 30th letter sent by the younger brother where he asked Flager for $20,000. The brother said he would have considered any payment an admission of guilt. I can remember what happened that day in that room. Today, the younger brother defended his actions and both accusers called on Father Flager, known for being so vocal. I will not let my faults or my imperfections cause me to run, nor will I allow them to cause me to hide. To respond personally to their painful claims. I can tell you that what infuriates me is a lawyer saying anything about me and not knowing what happened. I was there, Mike was there. We were the only two in the room. His lawyer can say anything he wants. Now, Flager supporters have started a letter writing campaign asking to expedite the investigation into these allegations. And an associate minister at St. Sabina said so far they've collected 760 letters and delivered them to the archdiocese. They're planning to deliver another group of letters this week. Brad? Megan, the brothers sat down with CBS2 investigator Dana Kozlov. We've heard from Father Flager's attorneys, but not him directly. And this is a man we are used to hearing from fairly consistently. Uh, May we hear from him? If so, why not? Well, CBS2 investigator Dana Kozloff did reach out before we broke this story. They declined that request for an interview. She reached out again today, did not hear back. So far, we've heard from the archdiocese who say they're investigating and they take these allegations very seriously. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey. Thank you, Megan.